Hey folks, this is Best in Slot, and welcome to our very first Dev Diary of 2023 for Prehistoric Kingdom. Tons of exciting stuff. We're going to get a quick look at the next patch, but then a huge host of things that are coming later on throughout 2023 for Prehistoric Kingdom. I get the feeling they really run a, they really run a, they really want to ramp up the uh, development this year. So I'm hoping for loads of really, really cool things. Of course, we'll get back to playing the game. We'll talk about that at the very end. But um, yeah, really excited. I do want to apologize quickly. This took so long to get out. The last couple days have been been a disaster <laughs> the past week or so has been a disaster I'm not gonna lie um my pc hates me life hates me my mouth hates me <laughs> but things seem to be getting back to normal so hopefully i'll be a little bit more consistent from uh, today going forward anyways let's dig into this dev diary so here's a lovely blurry page for you folks Oof, love a little blur so first things first it's a new patch nearly ready now this is not a big content patch or anything this is going to be mainly bug fixes uh, performance increases at night by changing how lights are rendered or something like that some technical thingamajiggy but either way performance increases at night time and better visitor navigation now this is going to be improved again later on in the future as well this isn't going to be a total fix this is something they're still working on those of you who played the game will know that your visitors like to climb on absolutely bloody everything <laughs> it's kind of like how people feel about everest i can't remember who was asked about it that famous quote about everest though like why did you climb it because it was there <laughs> and that's exactly how your previous kingdom guests feel about everything <laughs> so that's going to get updated now but also updated well in the next patch but also later on in the future we're going to find out a little bit more later about a guest focused update and maybe they'll all come together which is always more fun um <laughs> ignoring that however lots of really exciting stuff to come throughout 2023 and we got a pretty cool preview of that so let's check it out for example the research system for those of you who like to play in challenge mode this is currently in development and will be expanded on further and further in the future as well as more things get added to the game but after some time after the next update we're going to get the research system in the game and you can assume this is a bit of a work in progress potentially, but so far we've got biology, energy, security, and structure. So we can see how much of those we've researched. And we've got some examples. So your themes, yeah, your building themes, your arid or tropical, the size of your nurseries, the output of your power plants, your incubation speed, the ability to incubate males in the first place. It's kind of like feels like a nice little nod to Jurassic Park in some ways. So this should just make challenge mode more interesting, really. Gives you mini goals to aim for, and rather than getting everything from the start, which sounds like a positive, but if you wanted that, you'd play sandbox. You now have to research and put the work in and build your park up from there, which I always prefer when playing a uh, challenge mode kind of thing. Right, now for the dinosaurs, or maybe not dinosaurs. Don't actually know. Let's find out. So, also coming this year, multiple new species, but two in particular are being teased right now, and this is all we've got. This teaser is all we've got. We've got this leathery, wrinkly sort of skin, and then this schlock of feathery fur going along the back. I have thought about this a lot, and you know what? There just isn't enough yet. <laughs> like, I'm sure someone out there has guessed the answer. I'd love to hear your suggestions down below. I'm going to show you another species in just a second, so let me know what you think of both of these species, what they could be. Um... I don't have enough confidence in any direction to really posit an answer here, so I'm going to shut up. <laughs> but multiple new species coming this year, and we're getting hints of two of them right now. And these two species are tied together, so keep that in mind when you're coming up with your answers. I'll, tell you what, I'll just show you the other one now quickly as well. They said they're not going to tell us what they are, because if we kind of see the connection between the two, it might tell us the theme of the next update. So they are probably from the same biome or the same era or something like that, that ties them together and would also tie together a larger thematic update. So keep that in mind when coming up with your suggestions. Um, I have seen suggestions that this is very similar to the concept art that Prehistoric Kingdom had for Megalania, but it's worth noting that concept art was old, like super old, not like a little old, not like old me, but like super old, you know, ancient basically, and has long been scrapped, so it could just be a coincidence, and probably is, just keep that in mind, though that would be really cool, don't get me wrong, I'd love a Megalania in the game. Um, also coming this year, however, so two species um, teased, again, let me know what you think of those in the comment section down below, but the species are also getting some more AI updates, we're going to get herding behaviours, we're going to get chasing slash fleeing behaviours, and most excitingly, if you want to live out certain fantasies, breakout behaviors. Dinosaurs and other species will be able to break out of their enclosures. Eventually, I hope they'll be able to eat guests. I don't know if that's ever on the cards, actually. 
I feel like it might not be, but I don't know why I feel that way. Hopefully they can eventually eat guests. <laughs> Either way, breakouts are going to be on the cards. And uh, yeah, that's really exciting. It means we'll actually, especially on sandbox, well, challenge mode, I assume we can turn them off in sandbox. But on challenge mode, again, you'd have to pick the right fences. You'd have to, it's another thing to manage as well as looking cool, which is cool. Right, so we've got two new species teased, but not only do we have two new species teased, and I'm sure there'll be many more throughout the year, don't get me wrong, and all these new behaviors, but a really cool new skin system. And this is really the highlight of the dev diary, but junk a junk. That's the official noise, by the way. <laughs> We're getting genetic variants. Your dinosaurs and other species will be able to be albino, leucistic, and melanistic. So we're seeing here the albino. Am I an albino or an alb albino? I'm an albino. If you're an albino, that's fine. I lean albino. An albino and melanistic. Melanistic, lots of melanin in the skin, gives it a very dark coloration. Albino is the opposite, and they tend, you know, the red eyes and the, the light skin because of that lack of pigmentation. And leucistic tends to be, well, lacks the red eyes of the albino and tends to be more like a middle ground between the two. Anyways, usually t trending towards the lighter though. It's, got, it's like partial albinism. Albinism? Let's go with that. So anyways, looks fantastic there. You can see it on the Rex. We've got the totally dark skin, totally light skin. And we actually got a surprising amount of information. So this is a procedural system. It can apply to any skin and with variants. So every single skin in the game, no matter what creature you're producing, no matter what skin pattern you're picking, well, I don't know if it applies to every creature. Let's put that out there right now, but let's assume so. And no matter what pattern you're picking for that creature, it has a chance of being albino, melanistic, or leucistic. And even within that, you're going to get further variation, because as you can see, both of these here are albino, and yet they look quite different from each other. They're lighter in tone, you know, they've got rid of the original coloration but they still look demonstrably different from each other. So it should add a really exciting dose of uh, variation to your species. And I think people are going to very much want to hatch a bunch of dinosaurs to try and get their favorite variants. And it gets even cooler than this, because as we can see, you can see, um, so I say it's a procedural system. There's a bit of randomization there. I'm sure it's just using like factors that it applies to the skin rather than uniquely made skins, if that makes sense. And when it applies to leucistic, we get really cool variation in which you've got this kind of, as it says on the dev diary, cookies and cream skin, but this black and white skin with the black coming in over the white pattern there on the back and it's kind of splayed over the eyes. I mean, that is a gorgeous Rex right there. That looks absolutely fantastic. So... The leucistic skins in particular, I think are going to be really, really exciting to see this melding of the patterns and the uh, desaturation together. I'm really excited about that. I think that's a really cool, unexpected update. I would not have expected this kind of thing for quite a while, I guess. But it makes sense in that if you've got people responsible for this kind of system, you know, they're not going to then go work on guest AI or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, people work on what they're going to work on. So even if things seem to be... If, if this seems like a weird prioritization, it's not that more important things are being left alone for this. It's just that this is the next logical step for the people who would design this kind of system. Does that make sense? A little bit more on this. Uh, not a little more on that at all, actually. So <laughs> that's it for the loose cystic skins and melanistic and albino skins. Very exciting. And a little bit more updates to the guests. So this is concept art, it's worth noting. That is a, a painting on the right-hand side. But the guests are visually going to be changed. At the moment, they're a little bit on the boring side, a little bit nondescript. And uh, we've got a quote here from the concept artist, from Ida. Ida, by the way, followed him on Twitter, a fantastically talented uh, paleo artist. The basic idea was that the guests should be pleasant and fun to look at. They'd need to appear interesting and diverse when looking at them directly or from afar as a crowd when you're trying to manage other aspects of your park. It was also important to us that the guests look expressive and are able to emote in a way that's easy for the player to interpret. I tried out a lot of different styles from realistic to very stylized to get a sense of what would fit in game with the dinosaurs and assets we already have made. We ended up settling for something in between that will hopefully make the guests feel way more lively while still fitting the world. And we can see some of that concept art right there you can see the kind of level they're aiming for in terms of the guests and it does feel halfway between realistic it's it's stylized realism let's put it that way they look like real people there's no crazy features going on or anything like that but they've definitely got some cartoony stylized kind of features in there as well which helps with things like expressiveness and stuff like that i think they'll blend in really well um it is interesting because the dinosaurs i don't think really have any of that cartoony dose to them in a way so it's interesting that that works better for the guests uh, one of the things i really like about this you can see over here on the right hand side with all these different clothing options that's not just 
variation from guest to guest, but actually variation depending on your park. If you open a park in cold weather, people are going to be wearing jackets and hoodies. If you wear open a park on the beach, people will be... <laughs> Maybe they'll wear nothing. Who knows? I don't think it's that kind of game. The point is they will dress appropriately for the biome, which just get a little extra dose of personality and uh, attention to detail, which I really appreciate. So we do have a guest overhaul coming later this year, including new animations like sitting down on benches. I kind of put that in because it sounds sarcastic, but it's not actually not really meant to be. <laughs> it's quite exciting. Sitting down on benches, reacting to species, throwing rubbish away. Just loads of little things that make your guests feel much more lifelike and like they actually exist. That's not a criticism of any other game, although it could be. <laughs> so, so today we've seen two species hints. Very curious what you folks at home think they are going to be. Some information about the new AI coming to the species that's herding, chasing, fleeing, and breakouts. A look at the genetic mutation system, the albino, leucistic, and melanistic. And a look at the guest overhaul coming, coming, coming later this year as well. Really exciting dev diary. The future of PK looks really good. I promise... I do have plans to start a playthrough. The idea is to do a stream, probably on Saturdays, playing through PK. Of course, if you miss the stream, you'll be able to watch it on the channel later on. Anyway, I am waiting for something in particular in my personal life to start those streams. It's nothing to do with PK, nothing to do with anything else. I'm just waiting for something to happen for me, and then the streams are going to begin. I will probably let you know what that is on the first stream. Should be in February. Let's put it that way. It should be in February. We'll see how things go. Either way, thank you so much for joining me. Throw me a like down below if you enjoyed the video. Go pick up PK on uh, Steam if you haven't done already. Definitely recommend it. It's a fantastic game. You know, putting loads of love into it. They've sold 100,000 copies already, which is pretty sweet, I think. You know, for an indie dinosaur park builder, I think that's pretty great. And, um, yeah, really optimistic for the future of the game. Let me know what you're most excited about. Let me know what you think those two species could be. And I'll see you lovely folks very soon. Thanks for joining me. Cheers, much love as always. Bye-bye. Reaching out.